Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Rika and in this video we're going to create a guitaric patch for a nice atmospheric clean guitar sound, especially for black metal. Open up the DAW of your choice and load up Guitar Rig. First, we'll need a compressor. With clean sounds, a compressor is basically a must-have. What it does is decreasing the difference between the most loud and the most quiet parts of the sound by compressing the waveform. The settings of the device depends on what kind of sound you're looking for. If you'd like to keep the dynamic of your playing, go for lower settings, but if you'd like a compressed, squashed sound, then go for more aggressive settings. Now I'll use the stomp compressor, since it's really straightforward. You can hear it instantly gives the track more volume. A set sustain around 12 o'clock. This device has a small meter that shows the amount of the compressing. I'll turn down the threshold to show you how it works. If I play lightly, you can see the meter stays quite the same. But if I strum harder, you can see the device squashes the sound heavily. You can tweak its advanced controls, but now this setting is good for me. Now we'll need an amp and a cabinet. I use the Jazz Amp. That's a remodeling of the Roland Jazz Chorus. It has nice clean sound and built-in vibrato and chorus effects, exactly what we need. I'd like to get a sharp tone, so let's turn out the treble and middle channels. I'll give some air to the sound with the mic settings. Let's set up the vibrato effect. Set this lever to vibrato, decrease the depth, and turn up the rate. Don't worry about the chorus effect, it's our next one. You can find it at modulations, select ensemble. It has a nice sound out of the box, but now I'll turn the chorus knob down to make it smoother. The next one is probably my favorite effect in guitar rig, Psychedelay. Under the advanced settings, it has a sync option. With that you can sync the delay to the tempo of the project file. But if you keep it off and find the right settings for your song, the offbeat vibe could really help to achieve a nice atmospheric, even psychedelic sound. I turn down the drive at to get a bit cleaner sound. I like to keep the time setting there, this way it has a fuller sound. As a last touch you can add a reverb. Here I used the studio reverb, again for being simple and straightforward. We have plenty of delay already, with this you can smooth out the tone, remove a bit of sharp bright tones. Well, the tone is ready, but I'll add some EQ to make it sound more suitable for a whole mix. Cut out the low end and a bit around 300Hz to avoid bass thumps. Brighten it up with some boost in the middles and bringing up the highs. Alright, let's see what we had in the beginning. And what we have now. Full and psychedelic. I can already feel the demons rising from the underworld to take me. If you'd like to get a more gritty sound, you can add some subtle overdrive or turn up the volume for some clip distortion to keep it dark. Hope you guys liked this video and I could help you out. If so, please hit the like button, it's really appreciated and subscribe for more videos. In the next one, we'll create a true old school black metal guitar tone with a lot of distortion and lo-fi effects. Stay tuned!